Hello, everyone, and welcome back to KTV Creates. Thank you for joining me today. If you are new here, please consider hitting that subscribe button so you get to see all my new videos. So let's get started today with our new project. Uh, we are gonna be working on some DIY canvas wall art. So I have a space in my dining room that I specifically wanted to put this. So I went to Hobby Lobby and I purchased a large canvas. It's a Master's Touch Classic Collection canvas and it's a 24 by 36. It was $24.99 at Hobby Lobby, but I obviously used that 40% off uh, coupon, so I did get it for $15. Now, I created my stencil using my Silhouette Cameo, but there's definitely other methods out there that you can use to create a stencil if you want it to DIY it. This, I just thought would be the easiest for me. Um, and this is the cute little saying that I decided to do um, because I thought it would work out perfectly in my dining room. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. So to prep the canvas, it's always best to put down a layer of, of paint. So um, I'm just gonna do white and black in this, um, the lettering will be in black in the end and the canvas will stay white. So I'm just applying a thin coat of white acrylic paint. Any kind of acrylic paint would do. Um, and you're just gonna spread it evenly over the canvas. This is gonna help um, seal the stencil to the canvas. You'll see in the next step, um, we're gonna apply another coat of acrylic paint over the stencil. Um, and again, it just helps to seal the stencil to the canvas. Uh, so that you don't get any bleed through when you put on um, your final uh, color. So here I'm just gonna show you a little bit of how um, I go about applying the stencil to the canvas. Um, I really just eyeballed it as far as centering it but I did mark the um, canvas in little spots where I marked where I would lay that stencil so that everything lined up perfectly. So here I'm just showing you how I apply the stencil and then how I take off that, um, that masking tape. Um, and it just sticks nicely to the canvas. You do want to make sure that you're using, um, I have a little Pampered Chef scraper um, but you can use a credit card or anything flat and, and hard to just make sure that that stencil is really adhere, adhered to well to the canvas so there's no bleed through. So now we are gonna go ahead and do that, that layer of white acrylic paint over the stencil like I had said. Um, and again, it's just to help seal that, can that stencil to the canvas so that when you put your final layer on, you're gonna get a lot less uh, bleeding through the stencil. So it's just a quick and easy um, tip to make sure that you do that uh, when you're stenciling. So here we're just gonna use some black acrylic paint, any brand will do. Um, and you'll see, I'm, I'm gonna start out by using this little um, sponge stencil, stencil brush, uh, because originally I thought I wanted to give it more of like that distressed look and not such like a full coverage black paint. Um, so I'm just dabbing it on the stencil in a, in a quick dabbing motion, um, not fully saturating. And I kind of decided as I was doing it that, that I didn't think that this was the look that I really wanted. So I go back in with just a regular flat artist's paintbrush and I'm just gonna apply the acrylic paint with the paintbrush. So making sure that I saturate everything fully. Um, I just decided that for me, that's the look that I wanted. Um, but you can try either method. It just depends on what you want the final outcome to look like.
Another quick tip is to make sure whenever you're painting something like this that you're painting um, from the farthest direction out from you as you can. Um, because there's been many times where I've kind of ruined a piece or I had to start over because you know, I, I got my hand, my painting hand in the paint and then I got it on the canvas or on something else. So this just helps to keep everything neat. Um, you start from the outermost piece uh, and then work in towards you to avoid um, any transferring of paint onto areas that you don't want paint. Okay, so this is my most favorite part of the whole project. It is so satisfying to peel off that stencil and see the art and the work. Um, it's a little nerve wracking in the beginning, <laughs> holding your breath, hoping that um, it, it all worked out well. Um, but as you can see, everything came out beautifully. I'm just going in with my, um, my little pick tool. It kind of looks like a tool that they use at the dentist's office. Um, but again, tweezers would work fine. Um, anything with a really sharp edge helps you pick off all those uh, little pieces of the stencil that remain. Um, and it came out really, really well. I'm very, very excited about it. There were a couple pieces that I had to go back in and touch up. That's what I'm doing right here with that white acrylic paint. Again, another reason why it's nice to have that base coat. Um, so it all blends in the end and I'm just touching up my registration marks where I lined everything up and then there were a few spots that did bleed a little bit. So now the finishing touch is I'm going to add some string to the top and bottom. I have these two different colors, different types, not sure which one I really want to do. Um, so I'm kind of just giving you a visual as to what both of them look like um, because I kind of wanted to see which one I have an idea of what one I wanted to use but I kind of wanted to see how it would look on the canvas so this is that first one it's like a white and gray um, and I think I got this one at Hobby Lobby and then this one I got at um, Christmas tree shops and this is more of that that brown jute and then it has actually like a really pretty blue in it which is actually the color of the walls in my dining room and it gives it just a little bit more punch to it um, so in the end that's what I decided to go with this is the final piece I love how it turned out please comment below and let me know what you think or if there's anything else you would like to see as far as uh, stencil projects go but I'm so excited. It turned out so well. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please click that subscribe button, like, and give me a comment down below so I know what you want to see in the future. Thanks and have a great day.